Hey everyone, this is Jesse. We're going to do a quick walkthrough of what it's like to, first of all, sign into your new Google account and also use your new Google account to sign into Google Classroom. So I'm going to enter in my Google account here. This is my dog's Google account. Okay. Um, click next, get to an, the sign in page here which is your, for your password, enter your password. Okay, so you entered your Google, your, your email address, which is your Google account, and then your password, and you click, click next. Uh, you come to this screen, it says welcome, welcome to your new account, click accept. Now this will be similar to how you either sign into a new Gmail account or for a new school account. Uh, for example, if you're using um, Google Classroom, you know, pretty primarily for a student, um, you know, at a school. Click accept. Look, I agree. Uh, just some terms of service here and privacy policies. So now I'm going to go, uh, I have multiple accounts here, so I'm going to go hopefully to my new account. There it is. It's Thor. All right, so I'm going to go to the Rubik's Cube, and I'm going to go to Google Classroom. Once again, you can go to Google Classroom in a bunch of different ways, but I'll show you this way first. Um, so all of your schools or organizations uh, apps are up here. You might have to scroll down and look for Google Classroom. Once again, it'll probably default to another different account. So I'm going to go to the account that I want. And I can't stress that enough. Please always make sure that you're going to the account um, that you're that you want to go to. Okay, especially if this is a, a shared um, computer or device, laptop, desktop, whatever it is, make sure you're going to the correct account. Okay, and this is the correct account here. I'm going to click continue. Okay. Also. Make sure when you go to uh, pick your role for the first time that you pick that you that your student is a student. Uh, it's actually pretty difficult uh, to change this in the future, so make sure you click that uh, um, I'm a student. Okay. Now, normally, um, this would be this would have a bunch of uh, classrooms here. However, it doesn't have a bunch of different classrooms because uh, this is a new okay now this student has some classes to join um, this is what it would normally look like when your student um, is in school and teachers have already invited them to uh, Google classrooms okay so this is an admin class and a training class that's what the titles of the classes are you can simply click on join here but before we do that, I want to show also um, that invites go to Gmail as well. Okay, so you can see this um, student's Gmail, uh, and they get emails to join classes. Okay, so you can click on join directly from the um, email. Just click join. Okay, you can also. I want to point out before I join these other classes, it, you can also next to uh, their Google account up here in the right hand corner in the Rubik's Cube, there's a little plus sign here. You can click on join class. And there, there's a little place to uh, place a unique class code. Okay. So um, you have to ask the teacher for the unique class code. So usually teachers will post them in their classrooms um, on the you know whiteboard or, or somewhere in their classroom or maybe they'll even email them or text them to you uh, as parents separately. Anyway, 
um, I can enter that little uh, passcode in here if I've gotten it from a teacher, click on join, and then the, you, the class will be joined, okay? Um, it'll always probably come up with some things that it's going to tell you. The program, uh, Google Classroom, tells you you can you know, create posts like it's doing right now. Um, those are helpful little things that uh, are good to know, okay? Um, once you get into the classes, then you can see that there are three different tabs here, stream, okay? You can um, post announcements to your class if your teacher allows you to. Uh, you can check on your classwork here, and you can also um, check on the other students in the class, okay? That uh, you are that you are in, okay. Let's hop out of this and go to the other classrooms that you've been invited to. So now you can click join here, and you'll join this admin class and see what that's all about. Um, and you notice here what I'm clicking on to get back to the main page for the students is uh, this little um, these three lines up here next to where it says Google Classroom on the left hand side. I'll click join here or join this class as well. Okay. So these are the three basic ways to join. You'll get a little, the teacher will invite you and you'll just be able to click join here. Okay. To these classes, you'll get an email. All right. Or you'll get a class code and join the class that way. Okay. Let's check out how to find when assignments are due. If you haven't already noticed um, underneath here, underneath each of these classes, training class, admin class, um, not Miss, Mrs. Glow's class yet, but, um, and I haven't joined Maddie's physics class yet, but underneath these classes, you can see that something is due today, okay? Building a drone is due today in the training class. Due on Wednesday is creating a detailed business plan. So that's one of what, that's one of the ways you can check um, to see your students' assignments when they're due. Another way to check out uh, when assignments are due is to go right underneath here, underneath Google Classroom, there's a little place that says, um, it looks like kind of like a checklist, it says to do. So if I click on that, okay, I can see, um, I can see some of these little drop down arrows. Now, um, this one and this one in particular has no due date, this move circuit assembly. Okay. But I can also click on, uh, this week. What's due this week. That's due today at 8 PM. What's due next week, uh, create a detailed business plan. And what is due, um, a little while from now, a couple weeks from now is a five page personal narrative. Okay. So that's, this is one place underneath the to do checklist or the to do list. Um, in Google Classroom, it, it kind of itemizes all of these assignments in a couple different ways. Okay, so that's under the assigned missing. Hopefully, there's nothing here. Okay, and done. Um, actually, um, with this account because it's so new, I haven't done anything yet, but I can change that. Let's go to a class that I can do something in. Let's go to this training class and I'll go to some classwork, some old classwork, okay? I can track my progress here, see a list of uh, your work and its current status, okay? That's up here, so you can you can view your work here, all right? Um, this is a nice little place to see as well, all right? Uh, that's right within the, the particular classroom. Uh, all assigned, returned, or missing, okay? Um, this teacher has set up a, a meet and a Google Calendar and a, and a class drive folder. So that's where all that stuff is. But if I wanted to turn something in, for example, this move circuit assembly, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll click on view the assignment. And right here, this is where it says, okay, add or create files for your classwork. Okay, next. That's good. Thank you for telling me. And mark assignments as done. Once they're done here, you're going to, um, you're going to click mark as done. Okay, so why don't we do that? Okay, I'm gonna 
I can add something here if I would really like to, and I have some different options. I'll go over that more in detail later. But right now, I'm just going to click on Mark as Done. And so um, it gives me a little warning because it says I didn't turn anything in, really. There's no work attached. Um, I can always unsubmit here. If I wanted to ask my teacher a private question, I could um, ask that here. Um, nobody else will see this comment. No, none of my classmates will see it. See it. Only my teacher will see that comment. Uh, if I wanted to post something for um, for my class to see, then I would post it here in underneath the class comment section. Okay. Now, I turn this work in. I can always unsubmit it. But I'll go back to my classes now, and the now underneath the to do, okay, the done work, okay, I have already turned this in, and so that's why it gets moved to done, okay. Um, all right, so that's under the to do list here. There's also a little helpful calendar. So let me click on this calendar, and you can see that uh, it gives us about a week, um, or it's exactly a week that it gives us and we can flip through the weeks and we can see the different things that are done now, obviously or that are due now, obviously as there's more stuff in here um, you know as time goes on you know and your student has more or less classes okay so let's go back to the classes once again that's to do and calendar those are helpful things and why don't I join this class? This is Maddie's physics class. I'll join this class. Okay. I'll join that class. Um, and I can see my classwork again. I can click on this assignment and I can see the different things that, you know, she puts a, a slideshow presentation up here and a YouTube video. So that's my stuff. My work in this class, once again, is only this, just this one assignment. So that is how that is how you can find out what work is due for your student either today, tomorrow, next week, or you know, at some point in the future, what work they have done. Okay. Now there are obviously be times when your student's teacher uh, is requiring you to submit different types of files as uh, evidence or proof of work so they may ask you or they may ask your student to um, upload a picture file or maybe a pdf maybe a website link or maybe even a youtube video so i'm going to hop into a class here and show you how to do that i'm going to go into mr glode's training class okay and i'll click on the classwork uh, page and i'll click on build a drone okay I'm going to click on down here. I'm going to click on view assignment. And when I click on view assignment, uh, the assignment comes up. I can see what Mr. Glode has put in here for me, but I can also go up here to underneath here. It says add or create. And I have some different options. When I do click on that, I can click on Google drive link file, or I can create a new doc docs, slides, sheets, or drawing. Okay. Um, so right now I'm going to click on Google Drive. When I do, what's going to happen is recent files from my drive are going to come up. So I'll click on this. It's a PDF file. Okay. It's the file that I want to attach to the assignment. I'll click on it again, add or create, and I'll attach another file, type of file. This is directly from my laptop or Chromebook. Um, or desktop, I'll click on file with the paper clip. And it'll um, ask me to browse my device. And I'll click here, I'll click on a on an image file. I'll click on open. Okay, so that's an image file. It's just a uh, screenshot. Or I can also click on add and create again and click on link. Now I'm going to add a link from YouTube. So let's go to YouTube. Okay. Let's go to YouTube. And this assignment is about drones. So I'm going to click on or type in drones. 
right? Okay. All right. I'm going to, obviously, if this were a real um, assignment, what I would do is I would make sure the video that I pick is a good video, but because this is, this is basic, this is a basically, or this is not basically, this is a fake assignment. I'm just going to click on share. Um, okay. And get the YouTube link. Click on copy. Okay. Actually copies. Then I'm going to go back here and I'm going to put it in the link here. I'm going to hit control V and click on add link. Okay. Now, once again, if I got a YouTube video, normally I would watch the whole thing because I want to make sure it's a good video. But for this time, I'm just going to click on that link there. So now I've attached some work here. Okay. Usually I've done the work, but I'm not going to sit here and show uh, how to do work. I'll click on turn in. Okay. Yep. And these are the four attachments. Click on turn in. Okay. Now I can always go back and unsubmit until the due date, um, or maybe the teacher will give me some more time to do it. Wanted to add a private comment. Once again, you can do it here or a class comment so everybody can see you can do that here. Go back to outside of my classes. And now that I have turned that assignment in, it comes off of Mr. Glode's training class assignments that I have to do. So I'm good with that. I hope you have enjoyed um, this uh, student perspective of Google Classroom. Um, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Thank you very much.